Today we are going to take a look at eight free alternatives to WeTransfer and some of them better than WeTransfer. And if you used WeTransfer to send large files, then you have noticed that this month it's not free anymore. We will have a limit of 10 files per month. After that, we have to pay. So that being said, let's go for the first alternative and that is Swiss transfer. We will be able to transfer up to 50 gigabytes per file. We will have 30 days for the person to download the file. We don't need to register. We don't need email. We just need to copy the link and send to the person that we want to send. Simple as that, completely free. And if you love this first tip, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there. And let's go for the next one. File mail is the second choice. We will be able to upload up to 50 gigabytes per file. We will have seven days to download it. We don't need to register and we don't need email. Just use copy the link and send to the person that we want which is awesome now the next one is smash and with smash we have a limit of two gigabytes per file but it can be unlimited the only downside is that we will have a queue to wait for and then we will have seven days to download we don't need to register and we don't need an email so if we have a file of 60 70 80 gigabytes to send then this is a great tool to have even if we have to wait for a few hours on the queue to get the link to send to that person it's a great alternative to a paying solution which those we have a lot and it seems to me that it's a great tool to have on site to use along with the other two that we have seen so far now the next tool is send gb we will have five gigabits per file to upload during seven days to download we don't need to register and we don't need to put in our email just copy the link send to someone and that is it. Next tool is Send Anywhere, which we have covered here, especially to transfer files between our own network, between macOS, Windows, Android, iOS, Linux, and whatnot. But we can also transfer files to other people. Now we have a limit of 10 gigabytes. We will have two days to download the files. If we use the direct send, we will be able to not introduce our email and we won't need to register. We just need the QR code or the number for the person to download, but we will have a time limit of 10 minutes to accept the download. And this is the way that I use to share files between my network. With registration, then we will be able to use the link to send by email. Now the next tool is transfer now and we will be able to upload files up to five gigabytes. We will have seven days to download that file. We don't need to register but we will have to introduce our email to be able to have the link to send to the person. Next P cloud transfer. We will be able to upload up to five gigabytes per file, seven days to download, no registration required but we need to insert our email to have access to the link to provide to the person that we want to send. And finally, transfer XL, which we will be able to send five gigabytes per file, but only 10 gigabytes per day. We will be able to have the file during seven days to download, no registration, but we will need to insert our email to have access to the link and then send to the person. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons. Don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper. And when you ask me my favorite one and the one that I use you probably caught during this video that I ordered by my preference. So Swiss transfer is the one that I use most of the time because we have 50 gigabytes during 30 days, no registration, no email required. And then we also have the option of file mail, 50 gigabytes, but only seven days, no registration, no email. And then Smash, which is one of those that if we require 60 or 70 gigabytes, which is something that personally only happens to me occasionally, then we have that with the limitation that we will have a queue, but in my opinion, very acceptable. And then send anywhere if I need to send here things locally. There's also local sends and a few more apps that I've covered here on the channel. But today, regarding alternatives for WeTransfer, these are the eight that I would suggest. I would also kindly ask you to leave down below on the comment section, what do you use if you use any of these? Did you use WeTransfer like I did for a few years? And what are you using right now?
Now, was this video helpful? And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.